Praise be Jesus Christ. This is an unbelieving generation. And yet the Lord gives us signs so that we may believe. Just ahead on Eyewitness News, church attendance was up at a Prince William County church where some parishioners claim to have witnessed a miracle. Hundreds of people are flocking to the small town of Lake Ridge, Virginia, hoping to experience a supernatural phenomenon. Is it holy or a hoax? Seeing Christ's wounds on a young priest. As CNN's Francis Harden reports, the church hierarchy is skeptical, but many people are not. The church knows the truth. The statues of the Virgin Mary wept. The entire leadership of the Arlington, Virginia Diocese saw the statues weep tears of water and tears of blood. The bishop, Bishop Keady, had a number of statues in his office and they wept before his disbelieving eyes. He believed. And then something happened. I wouldn't call it an obsession, but when you find yourself face to face with something so undeniably true, something physically impossible to deny, it becomes very difficult to just walk away. I could not turn around. Instead, I did what I thought was the obvious thing to do. I moved towards this seemingly impossible truth, this great wonder, and for the life of me, I could not understand why I was so alone on my journey. The path I found myself on was so empty. As Woody Guthrie said in a powerful and simple song, the path I found myself on was sad and lonely. My journey has been filled with dead ends, closed doors, unreturned emails, and unreturned phone calls. It made no sense to me. Finally, a door opened, and I walked in. And inside I found a dim light resting on a collection of dark secrets. Secrets that would reveal to me reasons why the greatest manifestation of the supernatural in the history of the world was hidden. I discovered why the story of this great miracle was kept secret. And most importantly, I discovered why the messages of the tears of the Virgin Mary had been silenced. Silenced, a film documentary by Stephen Ryan.